Good morning, my name's Daniel and welcome back to Clock Shop. Today we're filming from our grandfather clock showroom. Just to run you through a range of our grandfather clocks, explaining the more affordable grandfather clocks through to some of our really precious, exquisite clocks with fine details. So interestingly, grandfather clocks were originally known as long case clocks. They stand on the floor, but the popular term grandfather clock actually came from a famous song, My Grandfather's Clock, which was inspired by the tale of a grandfather clock that stood in a hotel lobby that actually stopped after the death of its owner. So now, most commonly, we call them grandfather clocks. Grandfather clocks are traditionally a, a chiming clock standing on the floor and most famously they chime the Westminster chime, which is also the Big Ben chime that is famous in London. But other models also include Whittington and St. Michael's chimes, even some featuring Ava Maria. So while there are many different components that go into making a grandfather clock, there's two main parts. And we refer to as the, the cabinet, the case. So that's the woodwork of the clock and then the movement that's actually mounted inside the clock. So in terms of the, the cabinet, some of the things that we're looking for are details in solid timber, hand inlay, the amount of glass in the case, whether you can see through the side of the case. It may have a single door on the front of the case or it's split into two doors. And then there are other embellishments, gold collars, fluted, fluted pillars that run down the side of the case shelves inside the case so there's there's lots of parts that go into making up one the different cases of the clocks and then we look at the movement that's actually mounted inside the case and there's lots of variation there also some of the more simple things to look for is how you wind the clock is it operated with a, a chain that you pull on the on the chain to actually lift the weight back up or do you use a key in the dial and the weights are suspended on a cable maybe it has more than one chime it might be a westminster chime or a triple chime that gives you the opportunity to select one of three chimes. Feature automatic night off, moving moon dials that actually show you the phase of the moon. So there's lots of different parts that go into actually designing the clock and that's what we're going to go through today. Okay, so we're going to have a look in the back of the clock at the grandfather clock movement. So these two clocks behind me, they represent the, the start of our range. Now all of our grandfather clocks are mechanical, so they require winding and you wind them once every week. And that's giving power to run both the pendulum and the chime and the strike, so that's what makes the melody. So if we have a look in this clock here, this is the pendulum arm, so the long pendulum is hanging down behind here. We've got the chains that run up into the movement, they're the weights, and over here we have the chime rod. So the sound is made mechanically. We have a little hammer that hits on the chime rod and that actually makes the sound of the chime. So I've manually just actually pulled the little hammers back so they hit the, the rod and create that, that chime. Now in this, this clock here, the chime and the strike is played on the same set of rods. So we have five rods in the set, four for the chime, and then when the clock actually strikes, it lifts three of those back and strikes on those three rods. Whereas when we look in this one here, you'll actually notice there's many, many more chime rods. It's actually eight in total. So on this side again, we have the ones that make up the Westminster chime. And you'll hear it's a deeper sound. So they're actually a longer chime rod. They're hanging down lower in the case. And that gives you a richer, warm sound, which you'll find changes with each grandfather clock and different model. You have a different length rod and it creates a different kind of warmth and a sound in the clock that's unique to each model. But on this particular one, it has a dedicated set of four bars or four rods that actually are for the strike, giving you a really nice, rich, warm sound. The pendulum arm is, is in behind here. The rods in this case are mounted on the back of the case. That's what looks a little bit different at the top here. And then you'll actually see you have a, a plate at the top here and that's your moon dial. So from the front of the clock, it will actually show you the phase of the moon when you can see the full moon in the middle and that's what you can see in the back there. So here we've got a range of contemporary grandfather clocks, long case clocks from Hermley. So these are Westminster chiming clocks that are cable driven. 
So as I mentioned before, there's a couple of different ways that we can wind the clock. So these, you can see the weights here, are suspended on cables with the little pulley. And to wind these, you simply use a key in the dial. So there's no chains. You don't have to touch anything actually with your hands. You actually use the crank key in the dial to wind up the weights. So typically the weights would go down the full length of the case. And then at the end of the week, you simply come in and you wind the weights back to the top giving the clock a full week to run again. Some of the features of this contemporary grandfather clock, a long case clock, what, what I would consider makes it a little bit more modern in its appeal is the white round dial. So your traditional clocks, typically very brass, have a lot of gold in their, in their coloring of the movement. So this you have the white dial, which makes it really, really clear to read. Also we have beveled glass. So a full glass door with beveled glass. It features the, the polished, highly polished burl around the door and the base of the clock and a really simple plain polished set of weights and the pendulum. So here we have a beautiful Westminster chiming grandfather clock from AMS, a German manufacturer. All our clocks are imported from Germany. So the cases are made in Germany, the movements are made in Germany, they come completely assembled and we import them as a, as a complete clock. So nothing's actually made here. So some of the details in this particular clock, the start of the range that we're looking at, beautiful solid timber case. It does have some composite timber materials. Now this is really important for our customers to understand that this is for the stability of the case. It's not necessarily just to keep the costs down, but also so the, the case will last a long time. So some of the very early clocks that are made from solid timber, you'll find after years they they split and they warp and they move. But the, the composite materials, so fiberboard that's laminated with high quality veneer, actually lasts and is far more stable. But on the front of the clock and the door, we have all solid timber, the fluted columns that run down the clock. And then in terms of the movement inside, this is a chain driven movement. So we can demonstrate winding the clock by pulling the, the weights to the top. Now you pull on one side of the chain that's running over the ratchet wheel up inside the movement and you wind those back to the top. The pendulum is what's known as a lyre pendulum, has the shape of the lyre bird tail. And then in the dial on this one we have machine cut brass numerals. So some of the dials you'll notice the chapter ring is just a printed chapter ring. Screen printed, which can be very very nice in itself. Other people prefer that machined brass look. Here we have a statement piece from Homely. So this grandfather clock, beautiful, beautiful details in the case. We've got brass, solid brass collars. We've got all hand inlaid timber that's veneered onto the case. The burl timber that's featured around the doors and, and down the pillars on the side. And this clock also features a tubular bell movement. So rather than playing on the rods that you've seen earlier in the video, this has big long brass tubular bells that hang down the back of the case, each one mounted and suspended on a little rope to get that really rich warm sound. And, it, and the hammers actually hit those bells, so very much a, a, a kind of a church bell sound in the, in the actual chime itself. Uh, has a skeleton dial so you can see through to the movement. We've got matching uh, patterned weights and pendulum to go with the skeleton dial. And of course, just the immense size of the clock makes it a beautiful, impressive timepiece. So up until this point in our video today, I've been through standard models that are available from the makers in Germany, both AMS and Hermley. But what I'd like to show you now are some customizable models. So these are made by master cabinet maker Werner Schneider and he fits Keeninger movements into his grandfather clocks. So AMS also use Keeninger movements. Homely have their own Homely movements, all from Germany. But what is interesting about these clocks is that you can order them with particular colors in the case. And there's a lot of features that are a part of these clocks that aren't available in standard models, such as internal lights, mirrors inside the case, different dials. We have a calendar dial in this one that shows you the days of the month. This particular clock's featuring a hand-painted dial. There's etched weights, pendulum. 
Werner actually makes timber cut caps that go on the top and the bottom of the, the weights and an insert in the pendulum if that's what you like. Some models are available with inlay. Now this is the raw inlay. Here we have a stained inlay. There are lots and lots of options available to customize the perfect clock for you. So I'll just run through some of the extra little details in this beautiful clock from Werner Schneider. This one's featuring a, a, quite a unique Keninger movement in that it has the little dancers, the turntable at the top, and they actually rotate with the chime, which I'll demonstrate in a moment. So we have beveled glass all around the case. We've ordered this one with the little black and gold features around the pillars here, the brass. It has internal lights. So as I open the door, you'll probably see the internal lights and we'll take you through the chime. It's gonna chime on the hour and you'll notice the little dancing figurines that actually turn around with the Westminster chime. It's a beautiful, rich tone, really long chime rods in the case. Give it a beautiful sound. Imagine that inside your home. It just sounds beautiful, carries through the home, creates a really lovely atmosphere. So also we've got the timber caps on the top and the bottom of the weights. This one has an etched pendulum, it has etched weights as well, but on the pendulum it's got Neuschwanstein's castle. So that's King Ludwig's castle in, in Germany. And then it has a, a drawer in the bottom of the case patterned glass, the beveled glass that runs all the way around and actually inside the bottom of the case it has a secret floor so as you pull the drawer out you can access the secret floor beneath the drawer. So as you can appreciate there are a lot of different features that make up your grandfather clock. The one that you choose for yourself whether it's the the style of the case, the type of movement, how you want to wind the movement, whether you like the Westminster chime or a triple chime, the sound of the clock, there's so many things that you can choose to make your special clock. So hopefully today we've shown you all those different aspects that go into to choosing your clock and you have a better understanding of the differences and, and from the more affordable range right through to these beautiful customizable clocks. And if you like what we've shared today and the content, please subscribe to our channel and we'll hopefully bring you some more informative content very soon.